Hey there, Michael here from Digital Homebrew and today is a fun experimental day because I'm going to be doing a geeky electronics slash beer experiment about sensing beer levels using infrared distance sensors. Now if you've been following our progress on the forums lately, we've been working on a, a keg monitoring system where we're putting a digital scale beneath a keg in your kegerator and uh, using Bluetooth that can send data from that up to your mobile app so you can see how much beer is left inside your keg and you're never going to have kegs that just blow dry unexpectedly or you're not going to have bottomless kegs that just don't seem to run out when they're meant to. Um, this is the prototype I've been working on so far. It's just really basic at the moment. It's just a glass disc. We've got a um, uh, load cells from a bathroom scale, um, an amplifier talking to a, a Bluetooth module here. And then I put together a mobile app as well here. That, um, it's like a digital tap list and it shows you like what's on each tap and uh, how much is left in the glasses. They go, the fill levels go up and down depending on the data coming back from the, from the Bluetooth sensors, right? So today I was wondering how about an alternative um, in case uh, we need an alternative to just weighing the kegs, we could also use these infrared distance sensing sensors. Now this is a Sharp GP2D120 sensor that goes from about 30 cent, uh, 4 to 30 centimeters in, in sensing range. And uh, I've got this bigger one here too that's uh, a lot larger. And this one can go from about 10 centimeters to a meter and a half range. So for a big keg, maybe that sort of thing would be better. I used to use these while I was working in a robotics lab. We'd use these for um, you know distance measuring to objects around for robots. And I just wonder if you put this inside the lid of your corny keg, you know, just stick it in the top there shining down, maybe it's going to be able to see um, how much beer fill level is beneath it, you know, just reflecting off the surface of the beer. And uh, yeah, that could be a really good alternative to weighing the keg. And um, today I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here is the experimental setup. What I've got here is just one of these 30 centimeter infrared distance sensors and uh, elastic bands are holding that onto a spanner just so it sits there above the keg and it can um, shine down there towards the bottom. And that's connected up to a battery here for power, just a couple of rechargeables there. And I've got a multimeter here that's measuring the signal coming out of it. Here you can see it's about half a volt and ideally that should rise up so as the the fill level goes up the distance decreases and hopefully that's going to make that voltage rise to around two and a half volts from half a volt where it is now so um, i'll set this up for a time lapse maybe i'll put this a little bit closer to where you can see the water level as well and uh, we'll see what happens fingers crossed oh just an edit as well the liquid is going to come in through the beer outpost and I've just got that line running and jerry-rigged to hook up to my cold water tap there. So it's pretty easy. I just turn on the tap and that's going to start filling it up with water. All right, that's all set up. Now I'm going to start filling up the keg with water. We'll see what happens. Okay, that was it. We got up to nearly a volt and then uh, as, it, as it closes that gap past that four centimeters, it goes back down again as we saw it's dropped back down to 0.6 volts. It was meant to go up to about two and a half volts, so I'm going to call this an epic fail. Uh, I'll show you what it's actually meant to do. If I take this away here and if I hold these just where you can see it here, uh, well, that's with my finger there. So what's meant to happen is, so that's 24 millivolts, I should be able to see where nearly half a volt, as, as things come closer, 5, 6, 7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, and it'll go all the way up to over 2 volts here, 9, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, so see this is what should have happened when the beer was filling up, but uh, instead it just didn't get anywhere near that. So. Uh, I'm going to call that a fail. Next I'm going to try though, what happens if we have got 
a coloured liquid in here because at the moment we've just got water it may be worthwhile draining out that water and putting in maybe some dark beer and just to see if we have a bit of that malt colour in there or something is that going to help the sensor work better instead okay so now here is plan B this time I'm going to add about half a bottle of brown porter in here and that's going to give the liquid some colour like regular beer now when I fill it up, I'm hoping this time I'm going to have something maybe that the sensor can see and it may uh, actually give us a better distance reading this time. So I'll drop him in there and put the multimeter back up here and we should be able to do another time lapse now. So we're at yeah, 0 0.6 volts this time. It looks a little higher already. We'll see what happens. Alright, so that was more like it. This time the voltage went up to around 2.5 volts, which is great. That's the full scale reading. Before it went down again to about 2 volts at the end. And that's because we're, again, closer than 4 centimeters. So we're um, not in the sensing distance of the sensor anymore. But uh, looking at this, if I can focus, there you can see we've got loads of... Um, head there or uh, yeah just froth on the top and I'm willing to bet that the sensor has been reflecting light off this froth so uh, in a real world scenario where the beer in the keg sitting for many weeks at a time has got uh, no head left on it I still don't think this is going to work at all so um, it was an interesting experiment though and uh, yeah it seems to work if you have something there to reflect the light but as far as detecting how much is remaining in your kegs yeah, I just don't think these little sensors are going to be the right way to go about it. So um, I guess we'll just stick with the old, the old scales instead. So there you have it. I ran some experiments and it didn't quite pan out the way that I'd hoped. So I guess um, we'll stick with these robot sensors for robots. And when we're dealing with beer, we'll use the old fashioned, you know, use mass sensors to weigh what it weighs or flow sensors in the lines and stuff to measure how much flow is going through. I was hoping that uh, I'd be able to, you know, get like one of these lids and then put some enclosure on and mount these sensors into it looking down into the beer. But uh, it's probably just not going to pan out that way. It was worth testing though. Till next time, happy brewing.